Yeah, hi teacher. Uh, hello, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm I'm doing well. I had a nice nap after six hours of classes. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now. <laughs> All righty. Hello, Martin. How are you? Martin. Martin, can you hear? Um, okay, Mustafa, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you, teacher? I am doing well. I am doing well. It's good to have you. It's very good to Thank have you. you. And uh, Mustafa Safa, how are you? Yeah, I answered. No, no, Mustafa uh, Kandem is the other one. I said yeah. to Mustafa's. Uh, Kandem then. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm fine, yeah. good. How, how are you doing? I am doing well. I am doing well and happy to have you both. Okay, oh, what I'm going you. to have to do, since we have two people named Mustafa, I'm going to have to say Kadem and Safa. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah all right. Okay, all right. That's great. Okay, and uh, William, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. And you? I am doing very well. I'm very well. Now, Safa, you are from Iraq, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kadem, how about you? What I don't hear. Where do you live? Sorry. Uh, I live in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia. Okay. What part of Saudi Arabia? The eastern region. Oh, okay. Uh, is it like um, uh, uh, Jubail or um, uh, Damam? Near, Where? near from Damam. It's it's just uh, two hours far from Damam. If you go by car, it's uh -huh. two two hours. South or north? Um. Uh, I'm not pretty sure, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> What's the name you know, of the place? Al Ahsa. Al Ahsa. Okay, I think that's in the south. I, I was up in Jubail, not far from the Kuwaiti border. Wow. Um, and it's been about six months there. It's very nice. It's very nice. Okay. Yeah. Now, guys, I have, for those of you who are in the chat room, I have put in the link. If you can uh, click on the link and get into the class, of course. Anytime there's an open seat, you can join. But if there's not an open seat, I'm sorry, you can't. There's just not the room. But you're welcome to stay. You're welcome to, to the extent you can, be part of it. Uh, I do um, put up a lot of pictures, so I may not see you for your comments. But go ahead and make them to each other anyway. OK, guys, this is a class on the You're from Iraq, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Martin. Uh, Martin, I'm getting feedback from you, uh, and I'll do that. If I'm getting too much feedback, I will mute you. Um, I'd rather say hello. I need to do that first, and and please let me be the one who does. <laughs> okay. Um, any everybody okay with that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is a class of debate. Um, I generally design this to pick up from the prior class and move on, but we get so many different people every time, it's very hard for me to do that. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, that, oh. Go, go. Have you been in the debate class before? The last one? No. No, okay. But before, uh, yes. Before, yes. Um, Safa, you've been in them, haven't you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. I try to joining every debate class. <laughs> okay. Um, now, we do two things. In one, I talk about formal debate, what it is, how it works. And uh, in, hang on a sec. Um, yeah, Martin, uh, Malia, I, Malia, I can't let you in. Uh, all the seats are taken. I'm sorry. But keep watch. And if you can get in, great. Come on in. All right, where was I? <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do this. All right. I'm saying this again. I am the one who does the muting. Nobody else. That's my job. Okay? And I'll decide if someone needs it or not. Um, I've had too many times where the wrong person has been muted or someone's been muted by accident. And that's included me. And I don't like being muted very much during my own class. Uh, I'm funny about that. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and most of the students don't seem to like it either. So, so please um, let me do that part of it. All right. Okay. So, okay. So, Martin, are you there? Martin, Papacito. Okay. All right. Let's let's begin. Um, let's do this. I am going to bring up 
the actual introduction of debate and some before uh, has has anyone seen this before please let me know what uh, what's on the screen where it says an introduction to debate have you seen this this picture no 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 everybody oh yeah. um, okay that that would be uh, Coco you said yes Yes, I did for me, yes. Okay. Would you mind if we started from here? Because most people have not done this part. Is that okay with you? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, Safa, how about you? All right. I'll very, very quickly... Okay, teacher. Actually, yeah. I can't see what... Oh, you can't see it at all. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't see... All right. Yeah, I'm, I I'm can't going... see what you share on your screen. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to start on the section that says, what is debate? You guys, most of you can see it. And Safa, I guess you're just having a problem, and I'm sorry. Um, but here we go with, with that show. Okay. When we say, what is debate? Um, can somebody read that for me? Let's see. Who do I want to read? Um, Eskin, how about you? Okay. Is, is, okay. Go ahead, this first point. The debate is a controlled argument in which one person or team attempts to pursue an audience or judge that has the correct idea or position over a second person or team. Okay, yeah, exactly right. So you are trying to persuade someone else. You are not trying to persuade your partner, your speaking partner. You see the difference, everybody? Okay. That's very, very important. Oh, did I lose somebody? In in debate, um, let's look at it like this. Let's say um, I am talking with. Um, mm, we just lost uh, Safa. I am talking with um, Freecar. Okay. Now, when when I'm speaking with Freecar, Freecar and I might disagree about something. Freecar, what can you and I disagree about? Do you like football? Yes. What's your favorite team? <laughs> Barcelona. Dorn, I was going to pick Barcelona. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say Manchester United. My favorite team is Manchester United, and Manchester United is the better team. Okay, you with me? No. <laughs> no, do you understand what I'm saying? saying. Not that you agree with me, okay? <laughs> Do you understand that I said Man U is the better team? Yes. Yes, yes, I understand, but... <laughs> but you don't agree. No. Yeah, exactly. I'm not agree. <laughs> you don't have to, and I'm not going to persuade you, okay? <laughs> but we might want to persuade these other people, okay? They're the ones we're trying to get. So, Freakar... I'm going to explain why I think Manchester United is the better team, and then you're going to answer me, okay? Okay. Manchester United is the best football team. It has a wonderful place to play. It has some very, very nice fans, and uh, let's see. It's got the best players, which is why I say it's the best team, and it's the most fun to watch, okay? Do you guys agree with me or not? Mm. For so, me, so. I hate sports. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to yours in a minute, Coco. We'll find something to discuss with you. But I try and find something most of us know. Um, <laughs> free cut. Um, what do you say to what I said? Uh, well, I think you you are right. Uh, Manchester United is a very good team. Uh, the fans are, are very good, the players are very good, but uh, if you think it's a, it's a best, it's okay. But oh, come on, that's not a debate, man. Come on, you got to disagree with me. <laughs> no, no, I, I mean, okay, you, you think it, or, uh, your argumentation, I don't know what you say, argumentation. Yeah, all, all I'm saying is I'm, I'm making a – well, let, let's go with Coco. Um, because we may not go anywhere with football, and I, and I really don't know that much about it. Um, so let me go with Coco. What is it that you like to talk about and, and feel is somewhat important? Uh, movies or uh, 
people. You don't like sports. Books. I don't like sports. What do you like? Okay. All right. Let's talk about that. Okay. About sports? No, 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 no. You're going to tell me why you don't like sports. Oh, why well, yeah, I don't like sports. Yeah, so. yeah. And you're going to see, I'm not going to uh, agree with you. So what uh, well, you're going to do is give the reasons why you don't like sports. Go ahead. Not not really sports, but I, I don't like football. Okay, why don't you like football? Because I believe that football is like for men, not for women. Because women are so feminine and, you know, this is like, oh, oh God, it doesn't suit them to watch football and support teams. And yes, it is like, oh my God, it is a drive for me. It you is. Know, you know, um, women are like, uh, they care a lot about, you know, uh, shopping, beauty, uh, something like that, not football. Okay, so so for you, what you're saying, just so I can understand, is you don't like football because women sh should not play. They don't play very well. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, sure. And, and shopping and beauty are more preferable. Okay, let me add now. That that's your statement. Here, here's my first. Um, I, I would counter that directly by saying, women can very play a very strong and aggressive game of football. Did you see the World Cup final between the United States and Japan in um, the summer of 2011? Anybody? I've heard. I have heard about that. My gosh! <laughs> you talk about an intense game. Those women were playing their hearts out on both sides. It was a tremendous game. Okay? And, uh, and Miguel, I'm sorry it keeps kicking you out. I'm not sure why that's happening. Uh, no, I, I thought it was a tremendous game, uh, and it was played with great intensity. And if I tried to get on the field with any of those women, they would kill me. <laughs> they were just very, very good athletes. Quite pretty, too, but, but very, very good athletes. Okay, and, and insofar as shopping, I guess I would say, so what? Women can like both shopping and football. No, but teacher, as much as they can, they can play, but they still not playing football. Come on. What do you mean they're not playing football? I, I have something. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Sarah. Uh, you see, w women doesn't need to play football. They, they like watching football because maybe we find Men, they don't play football, but they like watching it just for fun. Okay. What do you say to that, Coco? Do you like watching it for fun? No. Even to watch it for fun. <laughs> okay. No. It's a waste so. of time. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think, I, I, well, in my opinion, some, yeah, let's some, hear it. some girls uh, know how to play football, and, and maybe they play football very good. But I think they don't look great. Yeah, really good. I mean, girls are really pretty. When you say a girl, oh my God, that's she is beautiful. But when you see her playing football, uh, no, I don't like her. Okay, so you're saying because they're not pretty enough to look at, they shouldn't be playing football? Yes. Ladies, what do you think? <laughs> oh, God. Come on, come on, he's you know, made it, yeah? You no, know, you know what, teacher, I have some friends, really, girls, they, they, uh, they are like fans of watching football, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, why should I, you know, uh, why should I watch football? What is the aim of watching football? Mm -hmm. I will be like, oh my god, watching, yes, two people, they're <laughs> playing, and then they will earn money, and I'm like, oh my god, you know, I will have a high pressure. I will have like uh, my heart biting. No, they will. Yes, go. No, I hate that. I hate suspense. <laughs> yes, this is not really what I like. So yeah. Okay. Well, well, so that's fine. I mean, as a matter of preference, I probably didn't uh, didn't say it well. Um, but again, what we've what we've done here is we've traded some ideas, and I don't think any of us are going to agree. Is that correct? What do you yes. think? No, we're not. We're not. That's okay. But if we were trying to say something is better than another, or this statement is correct, and these are the reasons why, we would be engaging in a debate. We would be engaging in a debate. 
So let me bring up that next part of this slide. And um, Bill All, good to have you. I'd like you to read this second part of formal debate, okay, on persuasive okay. speeches. In other words, you're trying to persuade someone. Uh, from here, debate is no persuasive. Persuasive. persuasive, persuasive, persuasive uh, speeches. I can't see it. It's okay, okay, okay. Great. Persuasive speeches consist of constructive speeches, cross examination, and rebuttal. Rebuttal, rebuttal, rebuttal. Yeah. And, and let me show you how that works. Okay, we take an idea. Okay, and. You can, everybody see that? Good, good. Um, let me find. Oh, there's got to be something that we can all disagree on. Um, anything anybody feels strongly about? If not, I'll pick something. Maybe death penalty. Okay, the death penalty. Um, are, are you going to suggest the death penalty is wrong, or is it good? Good. Okay. Do I have someone who says it's good? That uh, was free car, I believe. Yes. Okay. Does anyone say it's bad? I think it's bad. Okay. That was Bilal. Okay. Good. We've got a debate. Okay. Now, our topic is, should, is the death penalty bad? Okay. On our affirmative, yes, it is bad. Um, we've got Bilal. You say it's bad. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. And and who says no? It's not bad. It's good. We have um, Freikar. 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 Why didn't you correct me before? <laughs> Freikar it is. I don't know. <laughs> it's Freikar with A and then. Freikar. Okay. Freikar. 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 And there. Freikar. Yes. Yes. Good enough. Okay, Bilal, I would like you to give me reasons why the death mm -hmm. why you believe the death penalty is bad. Uh, it's actually horrific. You should not just kill someone because he has done a bad thing. He might okay. have done the bad thing due to severe circumstances, or he may be mentally ill. Okay, so it's, it is wrong. It's better that you could just put them away somewhere. Away from society. Okay, stop, stop, them. stop, stop, stop. Stop. So what you're saying is it's it is immoral, immoral because even the person is guilty he Or what else? Go ahead, Bilal. Hmm. I was saying that uh, he might be suffering from some kind of a mental illness. Right. That's yeah. due, due to that he's misbehaving and his behavior is not what our society expects the person to do. Okay. For example, killing some other person. Okay. So he might be guilty of murder, but it might be there's an extenuating cause. Uh, is it also possible, Bilal, that the person might be convicted but not really be guilty? Right, that's also a possibility if we don't have enough evidences to prove him. And, and you said that something else was better than the death penalty. What would that be? Uh, I think that you should just take them away. These prisoners should be just locked somewhere away from society. Lock them away from And should be treated. What if they are not mentally ill? What if they are judged not mentally ill? Should you kill them then? Uh, you should trap them. You should what? You should separate them from society mm. instead of killing them. Mm. Mentally ill, treat them if not lock them away. Okay, free card. Uh, I want to hear from you reasons why the death penalty is not bad. 
And let me add some more columns here, or rows here, very quickly, okay? Insert rows below. Okay, Freecar, what do you say? Freecar, Freecar, sorry, buddy. Okay. Uh, well, I think a, a penalty that it's good because it's more interesting for the football, the penalty deck. I mean... <laughs> Forget football! <laughs> <laughs> What happened? I, I this is a lie, man. I found the line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Frankar, forgetting football now, why is the death penalty a good thing? <laughs> what well, because I mean, for example, if you are losing in the in the minute a uh, HT five and you really need a a goal or two goals and if somebody Why are uh, you talking about no. football? <laughs> it doesn't understand. No, no. Oh, good lord, good oh lord, Freycar, Freycar. Now yeah. it suddenly hits me. When when we're talking about the death penalty, my friend, we're talking about the death penalty for a criminal action, the not death penalty in football. So in other words, <laughs> if I murder someone in some places, the United States is one. They will execute ah, put to death someone. The punishment. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, but. It's, oh, that's okay. That's okay. It's confusion because I, I thought you were, you were talking about football, about soccer. Yeah. No, no, I, I understand. We call it sudden death. Um, so, but yeah, I, I understand in soccer that's what you would call no, it or football. Some uh, people, some people say penalty death. They, they, they're talking about soccer. It, it's right. normal. The confusion. Right, I think. Right. No, no, I understand. Now, what about in a criminal action? Uh, do you believe it is appropriate to put a criminal? <laughs> who's committed a murder or, or something very, very heinous, is it appropriate to put that person to death? For me, no, no, no. yeah. Okay, I asked Freker, what do you say, and if not, Miguel? No, in that case, I think it's very bad, no, no. Okay, all right, um, was that uh, Sala, did you say that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell me why you think it is appropriate, that is not bad. Man, if somebody killed somebody, he should be killed. Yes, an I eye agree. for an eye. Kill somebody. Yeah. He should. He should be killed. Yeah, from the from the, you know, the the judgment who should kill him because if, you know, if the court didn't kill him and didn't give this punishment, then the the family of that person it will, I mean, it will go and to do some revenge, you know, and it's gonna be. A chain, and it will not stop. So the government okay. should take an action. So the government. Right. Blood feud. That is, one person kills one person, and you go back and forth for for vengeance. Is that correct? Yeah, revenge. Revenge. Okay. Can you give me another reason, Saleh? Um, or Coco, I think you also. Uh, yes, the, um, I agree with the, the first point. Where if somebody kills somebody, he should be killed because uh, because you know the family of that person that has been killed. Um, yes, I mean this Can is the pun this is the least. Yeah. Okay, so that is the most appropriate punishment. Is there any other reason? Uh, insofar as stopping crimes or anything that you can think of, and this only happen if if the person is aware what's what he's done. If if he is ill or something, that's another point. Okay. And people will be like so. Uh, they will be careful to do anything. They will think before doing anything. So yes. People will think before taking action. That is, when someone knows the punishment is that bad, he or she will not commit the illegal action. Now, who do we have? I know, Frekar, you agree with uh, Bilal. Um, Askin, how about you? Sorry, I didn't uh, listen. Uh, asking, who do you who do you agree with? <clears throat> oh, 
I, I don't really think it's true uh, to take someone's life. No, no, I'm, I'm just asking a yes or no question here. Do you agree with uh, Bilal that it is wrong, or do you agree with Saleh that it is okay? I, I agree just, with Bilal. Okay. So I'm going to... Uh, now, how about uh, Martin? What side do you take? Martin? Martin? Okay. Miguel, what side do you take? Um, the first one. Okay. Here's what I'd like you to do. Um, Askin and Miguel, I would, well, actually, no, it comes over to this side first. Bilal, I mean, I'm sorry, Coco and um, Sala, you may ask uh, any of the others questions. You have three minutes just to ask questions. And, and address the person by name to ask the question, okay? Uh, let's see. Saleh, you go first. Just ask a question of... of um, okay, I ask, ask. Ask him. Yes, who are you going to ask? Bilal or Frekar? Some Again. of the people who are against it. Ask against them a question. Or... Yeah. About what they've said. Okay, I ask Bilal. Who, okay. Who mm -hmm. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think? I mean, if I came to you and killed your brother, what, what are you going to do? Huh? Right. Uh... I would like you to have uh, some kind of a punishment. So I think so. Like killing you, uh, yeah, killing you is a really extreme form of punishment. Okay. Yeah, That's like why I would, I would, like, I, I would like to see you also suffer. But you can suffer if you are trapped somewhere. If you, if you, if you are given a lifelong sentence. That's a, also another option. Instead yeah, of just like chopping your head punishment? out. Can you define it? Uh, which term? Prison? I, I'm prison. saying, yeah, prison, okay, okay. So, confinement as prison. All right, now, let's see, uh, Coco, I, I, you could I, I ask somebody. Just, just, one, just one question. Yes, Do you sir. feel happy, I mean, while, while, while your brother is, is died and I'm, I'm still alive in that prison, I mean, have fun there. I tell you, yeah, I can answer. Wait, 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 wait. no, no, you're, the, he's asking the other guy. <laughs> asking Villa. Yeah, yeah, obviously the feeling is really bad. But I know, I but so, I killed, not, I killed not, your family, yeah. man. Will you let him answer? <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, yes, definitely, I, w I won't be enjoying it. I would be really angry. But I think so, okay, if, if you kill someone else, it's much better not to kill him, but to some send him to some other prison or some other kind of murder so you can take, instead of just killing him, killing the guilty one. So Okay. okay. Now I'm going to allow Coco to ask a question. Again, from anybody, from Bilal or Freiker or Askin or uh, Miguel. And I'm not sure what side Ronnie takes. Who is who is with and who is against? Uh, Bilal is, is against this penalty. Frekar is against it. Uh, Askin is against it, and Miguel is against it. Ronnie, do you believe the death penalty should be is bad, or do you believe it's good? Ronnie, okay, we don't know. Uh, Coco, so go ahead and ask any of those. Well, uh, I think everyone is against. <laughs> So no, well, I, I can ask. Uh, it's, it's I can you, ask. you and uh, Sala are together. Everybody else. Okay. Uh, I ask. Uh, well, I ask, and anyone who, who don't wants do that. To you ask. ask someone specifically because I don't want to have a whole lot of uh, discussions all at once. That's not a good thing in debate. Okay, I ask Miguel because he's against. So I tell him. Uh, I tell him, uh, what what do you think if, for example, someone has killed your sister, uh, has killed your sister, and uh, you, mean, you will be so angry, but don't you think that the best punishment he should have is the death penalty in public as well? Um, okay, first of all, if I... 
um, if I agree with that, it, it would be like I'm not gonna be better than this person because I'm gonna, you know, I'm supporting death, first of all, murder. And I think this person will, will suffer more if he stay in jail. You know, actually, the freedom is gonna be taken from from him, from him. And you know, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be like happy to have you know this kind of thing in my mind that I, you know. Uh, uh, death of someone, so I prefer this person to be in jail. It doesn't matter if, he, if this person has, you know, would have killed my mother, my father, my sister, any of my family. Okay, time for one more question. Coco, ask who you want. Yes, um, but why, why, why should you be like sorry for a person that uh, has committed a mistake or? committed a murder without he's he's he didn't even think about his family when he did that he's like just doing that and he doesn't care or he didn't care about about no one and you are just um, trying to keep yes to keep him alive you know first of all I'm a priest uh, um I believe in God okay and God doesn't approve this kind of thing so this, this is you know the reason I hold with my whole heart. Okay. Now, we have had the people who are in favor of the penalty asking questions of those who are opposed. Now it's time for those who are opposed to ask questions of those who believe it should be okay. Okay? So it's your turn to ask questions. Bilal, you are captain of the team. Um, I am not going to allow you to ask a question, but I want you to pick someone to ask a question of one of the two, okay? Okay. Uh, I will ask Miguel to go. Okay. Um. Miguel, yes. <laughs> uh, Miguel, who do you want to ask? Um, again? Who, who, who? It's Coco, uh, Coco and, and uh, Salah. Me. Okay, Salah. Coco and Salah. Um, Tala. Yeah. You are, you are, you know, you are supporting this, right? Yeah, I'm with. Yeah. How would you feel if you know in your, you know, you have in your mind that in one way or another you support mm -hmm. a murder? Because you know, uh, letting this this person to have, you know, kind of, kind of. Kind of, kind of death. I'm sorry today. I don't know what's going on with my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. For the mother, mother. So you are asking me that in this way I'm just supporting the murder, right? I'm saying how do you, how would you feel if you kill someone? I mean, it is the same thing. Yeah. How how would you feel if you support? Don't make the case. Just ask the question. Yeah, that's the question. How would you feel if you uh, support the murder? Of someone. Fair question. I, how would I, I, yeah. How would I feel? Yeah. Yeah. This is not supporting for me. This is not supporting a murder. This is just justice. You know. Okay. But how 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 about okay. you know? How there's there's been no, no, stop, stop 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 stop. Okay. okay. We had the one question. Now, uh, Miguel, we've got time for one more question. Bilal, pick someone else to ask another question. Okay. Me? I, I have to. Uh, no, Miguel, you're done. <laughs> I know that. He didn't answer my question. No, uh, I Ronnie, know he did not. Uh, is Ronnie on my side? Someone from your side. Uh, is Ronnie in my team? In my I don't side know. I don't know. Ronnie, I don't know. I can't hear him. Ronnie? Okay. Can you speak? Ronnie? We just can't hear him. I'm sorry. Okay. Then I think Askin should go. Askin, okay. Ask either Coco or Sala a question. And Miguel, you're right. He did not answer the question. And in formal debate, I you did. need to mention that. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Askin, go I ahead. I already did. Okay. Um, I will ask Coco then. Okay, Coco. You're welcome. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> What it will change to see the criminal that uh, committed the crime to see him that? What it will change in your life? Can you, can you repeat that again? 
what it will change in your life to see the uh, criminal death. That okay, yeah. What would it do to your own life, good or bad, I guess, is what you're asking, to see a criminal die? Is, is that correct, Askin? Did I phrase that properly? Yes. Okay. Yes, I will. I uh, I won't be so uh, maybe afraid in the future, and I will feel like there is a uh, a justice in in this life. Okay. Now let's stop here and let me talk about what we've done so far. This first part is called the constructive speech. You are making the argument as to why you think what you say is correct. So we had the affirmative. This is wrong say what they say. The negative, it is not wrong, saying this. Cross-examination is designed to elicit answers to questions you're not clear about and to understand. Okay? Um, they may answer the question, you may not like the answer you get, but that can also be mentioned when you do this last part of a debate, which is called the rebuttal. On the rebuttal, okay, I'm going to move this and create another column because this is a uh, what we need to do. Okay, you actually answer the arguments that um, they made in the first place. And traditionally, the negative goes first on that. So let me go ahead and get the column sent to the, it doesn't really matter, come on, no, insert column to the left, okay. And in this case, my negatives, you need to answer what is said here, okay? Um, Bilal and Coco decide who's going to answer what. First of all, it is immoral because even if the person is guilty, he might be mentally ill. What's your answer? Either one, Sarah, Coco? Excuse me, what's the question? And, well, this is what he said. Okay, and I'm going to put in some art very quickly to tell, show you how to do this. Uh, mm -hmm. Duck on it. Okay. All right. Right over here, you go and make the answer. You answer what they said. Okay, here, that one here, this one here, this one here. Okay? So let me see what, what it is you say about that. He said, it is immoral because even if the person is guilty, he might be mentally ill. What is your answer? Somebody, what is your answer? Coco, if Bilal? Some, he's... Please answer him, one way or the other. Answer that argument. Okay, if he's mentally ill, that's another issue. But if he is in his way and he's aware of what's happening, that's the point, and we should bring justice. Um, it would be one in a million to find that case. Mental problems are really common these days. So there is hospitals for them. Let's do this right. You. Um. Okay, the next one. The person might not really be guilty. Answer that one. Coco, Sala, answer it. We, we do it only when we have the evidence. Okay, so what you're saying is we do it, so we convict mm -hmm. only and picked. Okay. And now the last one. Just lock them away from society. Just lock them up. Don't worry about killing them. Just lock them away. So even if they are guilty, Lock them away, that's a better solution. Okay, what do you say? Coco? How, how, much, how, much, how much hospital or how much 
prison that we are gonna build every moment if every people I mean many people killed I mean how much how much it gonna cost you know to do all of that okay how much is it going to cost to keep them okay so those are your rebuttals your answers now let's go to the other side you're these go to the other side um, Bilal, again, you are the captain of the team. Um, you may choose to answer one of these arguments or to have someone else do it. Take your pick. Okay. Uh, I would like to answer the first one. Okay, go ahead. Over here. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, question them why they want other person to be killed. No, no. Now, what you need to this is the time you're not going to question them anymore. You need to mm -hmm. make a statement. I can do it. Uh, but Coco, it's not time for you. <laughs> <laughs> you had your time. It's his time now. I, I finished it all of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, just opposing my ideas. Yes, 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 I know, I know. But we let, let's finish this up. Come on. We, <laughs> I've got to wrap it up, but I need to hear what uh, they have in response to what, what uh, you guys have said. Go ahead, Bilal. Make it a statement, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need to just uh, give an opinion, my opinion regarding their question. Yes, answer it. Answer what they said. Okay. So, uh, I would say that uh, you want other person to be killed so that you are personally satisfied that no, there would be no more, ki no more killing from his, that person. So. Okay. So. So it's a sense of satisfaction, and that's not. Now you've not concluded that's that's a good thing or a bad thing. You're just saying that's a statement of fact. I'm going to hold okay. that there for a minute, and let's go on. Okay, pick someone to answer this one. The whole blood feud argument. Pick somebody. Uh, Freakar should try it. Okay, Freakar, go ahead. Me? Yes. This is not soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Freka. <laughs> Go ahead, my friend. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, uh, sorry. It's okay. How do you answer this? The government should kill people to avoid a blood feud between families. Can I? Uh, Sorry, teacher. I don't understand the the sentence. Okay. Now, who said can I? Uh, I said. I is asking. Yeah. Okay, Bilal, you're the captain. Is it okay if Askin answers it? Sure. Okay, Askin, go ahead. Okay. Uh, there could be two families fighting over a girl, for example, and government can kill the girl and so solve the solution. So I don't think they can. There can be a system that. Uh, solves problems by killing people. Okay, so yeah. in other words, yeah, just 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 kill somebody to end the problem if that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we call. Well, we'll finish this up as I wrap things up. Okay. Last one. This was Coco's argument that people will think before they take such an illegal action. Uh, they'd rather not die themselves. So they're not going to do something to get themselves killed. What do you say? Bill, I'll pick someone. Uh, Sally should try it. Sally, no, Sally is your opponent. You've got to answer your opponent. Uh, Coco, uh, Coco and Sally are my opponents. So yes. I... So you answer them. This is what they said. You must answer them. So we can have Freikar or Askin or or you know if they don't or um, I think they are see. muted. They well, no, no, it's them. not that they're muted. It's not their turn to speak. Go ahead and answer this yeah. one yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, there are other means you can deter people from doing the crimes. Okay. Other means to deter. Okay. That's fine. That, that's, that's as far as I wanted to go with this. Now, let's talk about it. Let me ask you this. 
how many of you felt really frustrated <laughs> as this was going on? You know what frustrated? I want to say something. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. Uh, it's normal because you haven't learned the rules yet. Okay. Um, debate. You do have this kind of ordered structure to how we talk to each other, and I promise you, every time in an ordered debate, as soon as you're done. And as soon as you sit down and someone else gets up, you go, but wait! <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> but as you get more and more used to the rules, uh, you, and, and understand the framework, understand the framework, uh, you'll be more understanding of what's happening. Let, let's take a look at this. Um, uh, let me bring it up. Again, this was nice. Okay. Now you noticed that I wrote down the constructive speeches. This is what we talked about before. With a constructive speech, you make your ideas. Usually someone has a constructive speech very well prepared going into the debate. They know what they're going to say. And they give reasons why they say what they want to say. Okay? And the someone who is opposed to them has also pretty much prepared something. Okay? So this is why I think this is what it is. They've prepared something to say. The next part, and this part is very important, is the part about cross-examination. Some people have one, some people don't, or, or some when you have competitive debate. But the idea there is to listen to what the other person is saying and see if there is something contradictory, something you can use either to understand what they said or to use against them. I have been in debates where when I ask the right question, I got enough to beat them. And I have been in debates where someone's done the same thing to me. Um, it is frustrating, but it's good. And you can get ideas that way, okay? And the final part of, of a formal debate is what's called the rebuttal. And that's what this was here. In other words, I heard what you said, and this is what I say to answer that. In a real formal debate, there are two sets of rebuttals uh, because I imagine everybody was saying, well, he said, you know, he said this, and I want to answer it. And then, and that's your affirmatives, right? And, and your negatives, they said this, and I want to answer it. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you do get that chance. You do get that chance. But I wanted to show you, by playing the game itself, how you play the game. And what we'll do the next time for the next class is I want to set up a more formal, real debate, and I want to put some real time limits on this. So if you come, be prepared, and I hope you are, to talk about something, talk about a topic to debate, and be ready to be in for it or against it. Okay? Now, what questions do you have about what we've done? Anybody? Nobody? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet? <laughs> okay. Now, next week, I'd, I'd like to have a debate. Um, what do you want to debate about? Anything? Do you mean a topic? Yeah, a topic. Sure. Not football. <laughs> I mean, the death penalty was a good one. I want to stay away from religion. Yes. And also politics, I guess. It depends on what you mean by politics. We can talk about specific actions that politicians may take, mm -hmm. such as uh, you know, banning plastic bags. We've talked about that before. Um, we can talk about um, regulations for water or regulations for oil drilling or um, fracking, which is extracting natural gas. Um, things like that. Is there something that's important to you that, or just interesting that you'd like to talk about? What about school corporal punishments? School corporal punishments. Okay. There are opinions about that. What do you think, guys? Is that something to talk about? 
corporal mm -hmm. punishment that is spanking, a physical uh, hitting of a child in school as a disciplinary practice. Do schools still do that? In that used to be part, very common. Yeah, it may. In Pakistan and India, I think so, they're common. It's common, still in Pakistan and India. Okay, well, is that something you guys would like to discuss? I don't know. Nope. I have, I have, uh, I've came across a uh, a topic like euthanasia. You know it. I'm familiar with euthanasia. Okay. Yes. What they call this is a good topic. Okay. Now, guys, let's let's talk about that for a minute. What Coco's talking about, I mean, corporal punishment. I don't think is is a worldwide phenomenon, but euthanasia is, and euthanasia is the practice of allowing someone to die or actually actively killing someone. If what? they are at a point, listen to me. <laughs> Just listen, Salah. <laughs> if they are at the point in their lives where they are dying and in too much pain, uh, or they have no hope, and therefore it is a mercy or a mercy killing. That's what euthanasia means: a mercy killing to end their lives, or they may choose legally to end their own. In many countries, it is very much illegal. In some European countries, it is now legal. In the United States, it is illegal. Great topic, strong emotions on either side. What do you think? Awesome. It's a yeah, good a topic. topic. It's a great topic. Now, what we need is to have someone uh, take responsibility for being in favor of allowing euthanasia. Does someone want to do that? To be, to be with? In other words, to say... Um, yes, I think euthanasia is a good thing. Anybody believe that? I can say yes. Okay, okay, Coco, you say yes. You say yes. Um, I ask right. about the time. When you say the time, what do you mean? When? When we're going to do it? Next week. Next Saturday. Okay, good. And, and this is what we're going to do. I'm going to ask, Coco, you're coming. I want you to prepare just three or four minutes to explain why you think, you th make it four minutes, why you think euthanasia is a good thing. I want you to clearly outline reasons, one, two, three, or even four, okay? Mm -hmm. yes. And make them strong. Okay. Okay. Does someone want to disagree with her? They all would disagree with me. <laughs> Most likely, yes. Okay. Uh, someone want to take that position in, in opposition to her, take the lead on that. If not, I'm going to appoint someone. Yeah, I will go ahead. Bilal, you'll do it? Okay. Right. Okay. And again, I want you to prepare a four-minute talk on why you think euthanasia is a bad thing. Okay? Okay. Then, four minutes, four minutes. You can practice if you want. I think that would be a good idea, but you don't have to. And then we will have cross-examination, and I'll allow anyone in the, the class a few minutes to cross-examine, probably two or three minutes, and then we'll allow time for two sets of rebuttals, okay? And other team members can talk about that. Is that agreeable to everybody? Yep. A real formal mm -hmm. debate is what we're going to have. And, and I think you'll find it to be a lot of fun. It's going to make you very angry. It's going to make you very upset. Okay? I know fights. You're on. <laughs> but remember, there are rules. It is a game. In the same way in a competition, uh, a game, you get really angry at someone, but you play by the rules. You are sportsmanlike. It's the same this way. We are sportsmen. We, we respect each other as good players and good opponents, even if we want to beat them. Right? <laughs> and Rowan, it is like this. E-U-T-H-A-N-A-S-I-A. -A. I think that's how you spell it. Euthanasia, and that means mercy killing. Allowing people who are ill to die before their time. Okay? All right, we okay. have about three minutes. What questions of any kind do you have for me? What position do you take regarding capital punishment? I am deeply opposed to it. I am very deeply opposed to it. And here's why. I, I don't agree with that it is a deterrent crime 
which I think is the only justifiable reason for it. Um, if it stops crime from occurring, additional crimes from occurring, then I, I think it would be there would be something in favor of it. But my experience in, in seeing it is even with places with capital punishment, the crimes continue to occur. Um, and on that, I would agree more with Miguel, who's no longer here, in that just because a life was taken does not make it morally correct to kill someone else. Um, I think that was Bilal's position. Uh, you will not, as a rule, hear my position on anything um, because that would color your own actions. And my opinion on these is that I want you to be yourselves as much as you can possibly be. There is no right in a debate. There is no wrong. There's only opinion and logic and argument. Okay? So that's my opinion. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay. Anyone else? A questions about anything, really? If I can't answer it, I will. If I can't, I won't. Anybody? I was going to ask, uh, what was the last movie that you've seen? The last movie that I've seen? Yeah, what? Yeah, I mean... In, like in the movie theater? Watched? Yeah. I went to see yeah. Dark Shadows with uh, Johnny Depp. Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't a very, very good movie, but it was very funny, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, prior to that, uh, I think it was Toy Story 3 with my daughter. Either that or one of the Lord of the Rings movies. <laughs> okay. And I loved Lord of the Rings movies. I really, really liked those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I read the books like 20 times each. Um, <laughs> and I, I thought the movies were just great. Uh, I, I really loved them. Okay. Well, yeah. Who's your, your favorite? Director? I'm sorry? I've got two things going here. Your favorite okay, book. book. Okay. My favorite book. I don't have a favorite book. I read lots of them. Um, favorite writer. Favorite writer. Ooh, favorite writer. Um, probably Tolkien. Uh, he did the Lord of the Rings books. But I also like C.S. Lewis, Mark Twain, <coughs> William Shakespeare, um, J.K. Rowling. I love J.K. Rowling and the Harry Potter books. Uh, I like Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I like Cervantes and Don Quixote. I mean, generally... The books I read are the books I see. <laughs> so I look up my grandma's reading. Um, Interesting. One, of my, one of my favorites is called Eats, Shoots, and Leaves, which is a book, amazingly, on punctuation. And it's funny. <laughs> you, know, you don't think a book on grammar or punctuation would be funny, but it's funny. Okay? What's the name of the book? It's called Eats, 